Today we're going to go over one of the easiest ways to edit your Mavic 3 footage. Now, if you don't want to buy an edit in suite like DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, or even get lumped into, you know, monthly subscriptions with Adobe, then Movavi 2022 may be the best fit option for you. So today I'm going to show you how to use it. We'll edit a couple of clips so you can sort of see the baseline of how to build uh, an overall edit. Now, keep in mind, this is not going to be a full tutorial, and I'm not going to be able to show you all of the unique things that Movavi has added to the 2022 suite, simply because we're focusing on aerial clips only, not talking headshots. So there will be a part two if you're interested in seeing, you know, how I would edit a full, vo uh, full vlog with Movavi. But with that, that said, uh, let's go ahead and get started. What's good guys, Ken here, you're watching Original Dobo. So today we're gonna go over Movavi's video edit and suite for 2022. I'm gonna show you some of the new things they've added and some of the unique things that we didn't talk about in last year's tutorial on Movavi. Now Movavi did go ahead and sponsor this video. However, it's not gonna change my overall opinion or what I tell you. As always, I'm gonna keep it real and keep it honest with you. And uh, I do really do believe that this is the best fit edit and solution for somebody who's on a budget and who is a beginner. With that said, let's go ahead and click into Movavi. Alrighty, now that we're in Movavi, let's go ahead and first take care of a couple of housekeeping things. To make Movavi work with drone footage, there is a couple of things we need to make sure are turned on. First things first, we're gonna wanna go ahead and head over to settings. When we're in settings, click on preferences, and when we're in preferences, head over to the acceleration tab. The acceleration tab is basically going to dictate the performance that you experience within the edit in platform. If you have a built-in graphics card on your computer, be sure to select the graphics card that you have in your machine. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, select NVIDIA. And if you have AMD, be sure to go ahead and select AMD. And if you're somebody who doesn't have a graphics card at all and you're relying on Intel accelerated graphics, be sure to t uh, click on that top option or enable Intel hardware acceleration. Another thing that I would highly recommend doing is clicking on this optimize HD clips. This is basically going to pre-render some of your clips to make them easy for you to scrub through. The Mavic 3 footage is exceptionally hard to edit, and if you don't have that turned on, it may take a little bit longer for those clips to play. That's not a Movavi thing, that's just a Mavic 3 thing with some of these clips. Okay, there's one more thing we need to do, and it has to do with the Windows Store. So click on the Windows Store and you're going to go up to the top bar here and type in HEVC. You can see I've already searched for it. This HEVC extension is a video codec for the high, uh, high efficiency video codec, which is known as H.265. Unfortunately, Movavi does not include this codec in their, their, their platform, in their program as of right now. And it's sort of weird if you think about it that Windows doesn't even include this built into Windows itself, considering that more videos, more media is being pushed to H.265 because it's just a much more efficient codec. So you do have to buy this. Now you're gonna see there's a lot of them out here, but the one you want is the one that's directly from Microsoft. And yeah, the rate. pay no attention to the ratings on that because the ratings are sort of deceiving simply because people are pissed they have to pay 99 cents for this little video extension. Completely understand, but just go ahead and download it, install that. Uh, part of the reason why it's taking me so long to do this video is because when I first started working through my edit, I was having problems seeing video files and I actually had to reach out to the Movavi team and they told me that the HEVC Kodak was not included. So that's, that's what took me a little bit longer. But once I installed it, everything worked absolutely perfect. All right, so the next thing we wanna go ahead and do is click on add files. This is gonna allow us to build our edit. And I'm just gonna grab a couple of Mavic 3 clips here. This was all shot in 4K, 30 frames per second, 10 bit, 420, and the Hasselblad color science. So I'm gonna go ahead and import this information in here. One other thing to note that this is not gonna work with ProRes, and if you are shooting in the log format, currently right now there isn't a way to import a preview LUT in Movavi 2022. This was one of the things that I asked them for was a preview lot, but keep in mind, this is built for beginners and beginners typically aren't going to be using log formats. So, you know, take that for what it is. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is just grab a clip here to do as a starting clip. 
one thing you're going to notice about the editing platform is that I can grab this clip and it's going to move right back to the left hand side. This is very similar to how Final Cut Pro does their timeline where it's like a, an elastic timeline. It's always going to throw the clip to the far left, making sure it fills in all available space. That just sounded like a uh, something you would hear at Disney. Please move to the dead center of the room. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and find a starting point for this clip. And I like the spot where I start moving through the mist here. So right about here. And yeah, I let go of this clip and then it slides all the way to the left there. Clicking the space bar is going to allow the clip to uh, play all the way through. And you can see 4K 30 frames per second, 10 bit is just playing through this. No problem. This is at a full resolution playback. So that is pretty awesome. Again, you do have the option here to change your settings on how you want your aspect ratio. So if you're going to maybe make something for Instagram, for instance, you would want a nine by 16 format, or maybe you would want something like a four by three, or you want to enter in X and Y settings. You can do that for this. I am just going to simply uh, use the 16 by nine format because that's going to be for YouTube. So now I have the spot in my clip where I sort of want it to stop. I think it's right about here. I can grab my next clip, but wait a second. If we're editing a vlog, don't we need some sort of music to make this edit cohesive? One of the cool things is, is that music is readily available directly from the Movavi editing suite. You'll notice here under media bin, we have sounds where you can download a plethora of sounds that are already available and ready to go within this. And then you also have a section here with royalty free music. So you can score the music or you can just go ahead and download it. Now I already picked the track that I liked and it's this sunrise track and I can just drag it in here and go ahead and bring it all the way over. Now, one of the nice things about this edit and suite is you can see the waveforms clearly. So because I can see the waveform waveforms clearly, I can go ahead and just slide this over because that's where I want this clip to end, which is right there. And that's going to signify when my next clip will start. So that is a really helpful thing. I like the fact that music's already ready to go within here. You can import the, your music directly here. So if you want to have your own track, you can go into here and go to media. Uh, let's say, for instance, I want to import my own music. I can say add media files, go to my downloads where I know I have music and everything ready to go. And then I can bring my own music in. But you can't store music into into the um the program. At least I haven't found that way. I could be wrong about that, but I haven't found a way to store music. But I don't store music in Premiere Pro either, so really doesn't matter one way or the other. The next thing I need to do is find my next clip I want to use, and it's going to be this clip here. And just like before, I'm going to trim up the clip a little bit to make it work to how I want it. Actually, I think I brought in too much here, so I want to find the spot where I'm twirling upwards, and it's right about there where I'm twirling upwards. And there we go. And then again, I'm going to once again, trim my clip up to how I like it. Now, another cool thing about this editor platform is the fact that there is built in presets as well. So if I click on this little icon here with the magic wand, this is for like special effects, filters, you know, all that sort of artsy stuff that you want to use to maybe make your edit a little bit more dynamic. I personally don't use these when I'm doing vlogs like this, but you may find something in here that you like. Um, it's, you know, up to you. There's also a plethora of transitions already ready to go in here. I sort of like these blur ins and crossfade. So like I can add a crossfade to this clip here. So once I start playing that, it's just really super seamless. That actually worked really, really well. I can also change the duration of that crossfade. I can make it a little shorter. So if I felt like it was too long, I can shorten it up, which I think that works pretty well. The other thing we can also do in the Movavi editing suite is we can go ahead and add a title directly to this video. Now, when you're editing a vlog, it's important to title things. That's sort of what, you know, how people know what you're doing or where you are. So they have all these preset sort of titles already ready to go in here. And if you don't see something that you like, click on the effects store and you can go ahead and buy additional effects. So if you don't see something you like, you click on the effects sets and you can just browse for whatever it is that you're looking for. So, and there's all sorts of different prices uh, available. So if you don't uh, see what you like, go ahead and 
uh, you know, download something that you do like. But I feel like what they have here already inside of the studio works more than enough. And I think, you know, if I'm doing a travel vlog, probably what I want to do is get something a little bit more, I don't know, hipstery, I guess. Uh, is that the best way to call it? Hipstery? Um, so I'll get something like this and we can just say, no, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. I want something else actually. I think I want this one. Yeah, this is the one I want. So once we're in on this title, we can click on the title. And if we don't like the font that it's using, we can use a different type of font. So there's all sorts of fonts pulled in here. Uh, we could just find one that we like. Um, oh, I sort of like this one, this Aaliyah. And then you just want to make sure you click on each line, because if you're not clicking on each line, you're not going to be able to change the font for each of those. So make sure you click on each line when you're changing the font. So that way they all change over. So I got to make sure I select. This one, there we go. Okay, so that's good there. And we'll just change the verbiage on this one. And actually, actually that's pretty good. Just wanna make sure we put a caps on that. And then we'll say, this is the Hawaii vlog. And then we'll just, um, let's give it a number. This is number zero, zero, or I'll, we'll call it number 11. And we can move this down if we want it to, too. So we can sort of grab this, make this a little smaller. And we can do the same thing to this if we needed to. See how that, that was like, it was like overlapping our number. So we can just sort of move that to whatever we want. You know, again, it's up to you how you want that. But um, let's take a look and see what that looks like when we play that back. And right about here is where I want that to start coming in. There we go. And hmm, hmm, let's see. I sort of want the motion to be precise. There we go. Let's see how that looks now. There we go. But can we add a crossfade to this? Ah, uh, you can't add a crossfade directly to animations, but that is pretty cool though. So at least you can title it. It's a Hawaii vlog. Pretty dope. All right. Let's talk about the color because there are options here for color. So color is a big portion of, of doing these videos. You want to make sure the color conveys the emotion. And this was sort of like, a, I don't know, a moodier time of day. So what we can do is we can come down here to this tab here, last tab. And this is where you'll find there's all sorts of uh, overlays animations, slow motion, logos, scene detection, you have stabilization. There's, there's just a lot of options under here. Uh, but this one, color adjustments, you'll see there's easy color adjustments and then there's advanced color adjustments. So one of the things that you can do is you can say, well, I want to do auto white balance to this clip. And what it'll do is it will go through and it will scene select the white balance. So I just clicked auto white balance and damn, that did a good job. That did a good job. I was thinking about the time of day it was, and it was more around sunset. And I think that pretty much nailed the color, the color for the most part. I would say I would probably have to do something more to that, but I almost don't have to. I think that did a, did a good job. So just playing it back, that definitely conveys the mood a little bit. So let's see what that looks like before and after. So you click on the star icon, that's going to enable the effects. And that's before, and this is after. So again, before, after, and I feel like, again, the Mavic 3 has like this sort of green cast, and that did a really good job of sort of eliminating that, that green cast. So that did pretty good there. Uh, this water, <laughs> this water is a, a sore subject for 808 State and myself because looking at the water, it looks like it sort of has a green tint, but him and I both know that the water was like blue. It was like blue, blue. So we can try to use one of these easy options here. And the easy options here could give us some options like one for white balance. We can click on the auto white balance, see what this does. Maybe this will help us. And it sort of conveys the fact that the sun is out, but it didn't do enough for the water. So if we want to fix the water, 
one of the things we can do is we can use the hue tab here and we can slide that hue tab to try to get that water to be a little bit bluer. And you got to be careful with this. You don't want to overdo this tab specifically, but I would say right about there is pretty damn accurate to what the water actually looked like uh, when we were there. So again, if you were trying to edit these clips and you weren't there, it would be a lot harder, but I think that depicts what the water actually was. So that looks pretty good. So we'll go back up to the very top here where we can start adding more media and we'll just add in another clip here and let's go ahead and we'll add this clip here and we'll just try to find where the motion starts. There's a spot where I start parallaxing and right about here. All right. And then I'll cut that clip to here and I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do an auto white balance to this because the auto white balance seems like it does a really good job. So we'll just add auto white balance. And yeah, I would say that's pretty accurate. I do want to go ahead and go back to the advanced tab and just go ahead and uh, let's lift the shadows a little bit. Get a little more detail on those rocks. Not too much, just a little bit. Maybe increase the brightness a little bit. That's pretty good. So something like that and then bring the highlights down a little bit just to get more detail back in the sky. All right, so that looks pretty good just like that. And if we wanted to just go ahead and cut this just like this, I can grab the scissor icon and I can cut this tab here. So I can say cut and then we can go ahead and delete and delete and delete. If that was the Oliver vlog right here, we can just go ahead and delete all that. And I'll just expand this a little bit further just so it goes to the end, but let's go back to our fades and we'll just have it fade to black just like that. So this is a really quick edit and then we'll play it and let's just see what it looks like. Okay, so I feel like it needs a little something. There's this parallax effect here. I want to see what this would do. Because we're twirling. No, not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. What about this twirl? Let's go ahead and see how this looks. I feel like I'm, I'm a simpler person. I like less is more, I guess. Um, let's do, let's do this blur. Let's try this one. Okay. I like that. That could work. So, and that could be the entire clip right there. If we were just making a quick, um, you know, sort some sort of quick, you know, Instagram video, that would be enough just to, to, to get it done, to just get it done right there. Um, but again, it's, it, it's really dependent on, on how you want it. Now, one thing I do like to do is I, I do like to find some audio effects here and there's a bunch of audio effects, uh, built into this software. Unfortunately, a lot of these I can't test because this is not like a traditional vlog, but there's ways to sound auto correct um, your voice and make your voice a little bit more enhanced. Um, you can see there's a recording studio, enhanced voice, noisy place. So there's a lot of options that are built in to this software that allows you to, uh, basically make this a little bit more of your own. Um, another thing you can do is you can add like audio points in here, as you can see that I've just done here. What I'm doing is adding this point here because what I want to do is fade out the music as I go. So you can see I am just fading the music here and let's play that back and uh, hear how that sounds. You can hear the music start fading in three, two, one. So, and that makes the edit just a little bit less in your face. But uh, that is the Mavavi 2022 edit in suite. Again, if you guys want to see more tutorials from this, what you can do, what you can't do, 
let me know in the comments down below. I think what I'm going to do is make a part two of this so we can edit like a full vlog where I'm filming with the camera plus incorporating some of these drone shots because I think a lot of you, you're, you're, you're sort of stuck, right? You're trying to figure out, well, how do I edit? Editing is so sort of, um, it's scary. It's taxing. I really don't understand the editors. I mean, this is pretty simple. It sort of lays it out for you because you start from the top, importing your media, dragging it down the bottom. You have sounds, music, sample videos. If you needed some sort of sample effects of, you know, something silly, it's there. <laughs> if I wanted to put a volcano, I could put a volcano here. I'm not going to put a volcano, but I could. Um, but those are there. Now, the process of how do you go ahead and export this video? Well, one thing that's uh, pretty easy here is you click on the export icon and then you can say upload to YouTube directly. You can upload to Google Drive or you can upload to Vimeo. How cool is that? You can just upload directly to YouTube directly from the application itself. But for me, I like to go ahead and export. Uh, actually, I clicked the wrong one. Let me go ahead and export directly to uh, the video. I can choose my format. So the format I am going to choose is MP4. And I want to make sure my quality is high and I want to make sure my resolution. I want to set my resolution to 4K. And uh, you can choose H.264. You can't choose anything higher than that. So you don't get H.265. Uh, bit rate, I want to just do, a, I guess we can do a variable bit rate. Quality, I want the quality on high and the sample rate, I'll leave there. Frame rate's 29.97. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and see how long this takes to export. So it's going to, I'm going to send this to my desktop actually. And then I'll hit start. So we'll see just how long this takes to edit this clip. These are not very long clips, but it is 4K. And usually with Premiere Pro, I'm about 35 to 45 seconds or so, maybe a little bit more. Um, usually it takes about a minute and a half, actually. Final Cut Pro zips through it. Uh, DaVinci Resolve, about a minute and 10 seconds. Uh, right now we're at 22 seconds. Uh, it's going to take roughly about a minute or so for this to finalize. So what I'll do is I'll come back once this is exported. Alrighty, so that took just under two minutes for it to export that clip. Uh, 4K, it was 4K 30 frames per second, 420 10-bit from the Mavic 3. Now, I have had other clips go a lot quicker. But let's go ahead and see if we can find that file. Alrighty, so that's the Movavi video editing platform. That's for 2022. There's a lot of enhancements. A lot of the things really gear around the audio tweaks that they've made. A lot of the things that you can do are automatically taken care of. So if you're somebody who's not ready to jump into DaVinci or Premiere, like I said, so Movavi is also pretty darn affordable. If you're looking to purchase it, you can actually buy it right now. For $104, that also gives you the Picverse photo editor for a lifetime license for $104. So it's definitely a lot cheaper than jumping into DaVinci or it's definitely a lot cheaper than paying $20 a month like I have been paying for Premiere Pro for almost eternity. So I'll be sure to leave some links down below where you can check it out for yourselves if you're interested in this uh, application. If you want to see another video, another tutorial, how I would go through and do a full vlog edit with color corrections, be sure to go ahead and drop a comment down below and we'll go ahead and do one of those videos uh, relatively soon. We'll do it in the next few weeks or so if you guys are interested. That's going to do it for this video. As always, stay original. Uh. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success has only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money to pass.